guys to a new video. I have already have the male birds outside. We also have the other male birds inside of Sputnik so that we could have the pair that I paired up we could open uh, in the loft but I will show you. So we have this pair open so they can pair. Maybe I will uh, waste some youngsters from this pair. Just one more. I pair them up just because this male bird a lot uh, a stressful bird as you can see and that's what I want to prevent or to have better so when you have eggs or youngsters I can just uh, train them a little bit easier so that they will uh, sit down and everything like that they just can touch him and not that he's going uh, crazy like I did like just now so yeah that's why here we have the hands as you can see good picking drops they're just chilling i have the darkening system in front of uh, the front because they have the old birds the male birds outside so that they can not see the the hands otherwise they won't train that good so that's why so we can see if we can find the male birds outside and uh, how they are training so we will check on that there's a strong wind but they are training great so double exercise for now we cleaned the loft so we're gonna call in the male birds back again we have opened the loft Sputnik already they're still flying but It's nice to see how they are dropping down from the sky onto the on the loft and going back inside. We have two birds already inside, four more to go. And then we will uh, put the hands outside and let them train. There's a strong wind, but the birds are doing great, so it won't affect uh, any of them. Tomorrow we will basket around 16 birds, six male birds, no, seven, seven male birds, and nine hens, I think. This one is from 20. 21, two year old, three year old. He'll go for one more year and then he will go uh, on the breeding loft. From this male bird, we got some great young birds, so he's a uh, breeding, uh, it's a good bird for breeding. Even it's, it's, it's a great bird, you see on the wing, got some uh, ventilation in the last four flights. So that's really nice. His offspring is looking good. Last year we had a hand from him, but uh, the bird of prey took it down, so we couldn't not know how the results should be. But this year it's uh, looking a lot better, so I hope this year uh, we will have some great results from the offspring from this male bird. Last year and this year I put them on my best hand, so we will see what happens uh, this year with them. So.
here we have also a male bird from my best hen <coughs> this time it was written on a male bird but you can see he's a fighter and i like that last year we flew this one just not every flight but it was on the young bird flight so it didn't do anything spectacular but it's more a bird for the longer distance like over 400 kilometers so um, yeah we have to see what he can do this year i will fly him on a few longer distance flies but we will see what and uh, how many we give them if they're south south in the wind then they can do some more but if there is more headwind then it will be a lot of uh, harder for them to get back so they have to push a little bit more and then to give him five or six longer distance flights is a, li a little bit too much i think for a yearling but who knows maybe he will can do it or maybe he is not coming back we never know at least it's a great bird also in hand his father is a breeder that's the 651 that's that bird there right right there so we will see i have uh, both of the parents so we can breed some more from from them this time i prepared this bird to a half sister of this one not the same father but the, the father was the, the fired one to 15. so um yeah we got some two youngsters from that one 708 and 9 i think it was looking great so we will see maybe we can pair it up with this one so he will have uh yeah that's not directly family a little bit but maybe we can do it but we keep the stronger lines then but we first we will see what this bird is doing i'm capable of of yeah we can fly first that's the main goal for this year of course but He's motivated enough to defend its uh, breeding cage, so there's also motivation to get faster to home. So we will see what's going on. I hope this year we can put some great results, better, even better than the best year we had with my best hen. But uh, we will see, and let's hope, and uh, we will see what's going to happen. The bird that we have here has two broken flights. So I put on the, the water boiler, it's going to get a lot of noise, so I will spare you that, but I keep this one, the, the flight over the steam, and then it will go uh, wide up. So the steam is coming out, so you see the wing, I'm going to put it over the steam. If you won't feel anything. As you can see, the wing, the flight is real uh, straight. It's a little bit uh, damaged, but I, we can fix it with uh, the water boiler. So, but for now, this wing is uh, fixed. the mill birds back inside <coughs> so now we have the hands outside for a fly it's now 3 p.m. I think 3, 3 o'clock in the afternoon I think it is I'm not sure but we let them out for about an hour, and then we will call them in. Then maybe we'll do the young birds as well. But we will see. We have all the, the male birds back inside. We've cleaned the loft. So we can feed them later on.
the hens are still flying outside so we're gonna feed the old birds the male birds already we are uh, first gonna give this inside of the breeding cages and then the other food we give is uh, for the feeding tray so that's what we're gonna do right now so we feed the male birds also the birds with some youngsters we give them this mineral mix daily 10% of the daily uh, food that they will get and then we feed the birds inside of the feeding tray and that will be enough for the birds tomorrow we're gonna basket the old birds for training around 69 uh, kilometers so that's um, <coughs> for Saturday, that's over two days. We will basket the birds tomorrow, more to, tomorrow evening. I didn't get the chance to uh, train the birds, so they will uh, be once on the race season before I even have the chance to uh, to toss them myself. But yeah, it's not. Uh, there is not another option, so we have to do it that way. But I'm sure it will be fine. It's south in the wind tomorrow. It will be nice weather, 23 degrees. So I think it will be a great flight for the birds. There is a possibility that on Saturday I will um, go live on my Dutch channel watching the birds get home. I will drop a link on this channel as well if I'm going to be live. I just have to make sure everything's fine and that I can go live. So we will see tomorrow of uh, Saturday. So for now, these birds are done. The hens will uh, come inside and have to feed them and then the young birds. But that's for another video. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. You can do it down below. I would appreciate it. See you on the next one. Bye guys.